it's Katie, and this is Paraclete. Alright, so the first step to convert fractions to percents is to convert the fraction to a decimal. So, for example, we're going to do 3 fourths. And so in order to convert that to a fraction, we have to divide it. So 3 goes on the inside, 4 on the outside. Since 4 can't go into 3, we're going to have to add uh, the decimal point and then move it up. And then after moving the decimal point, we can add a 0. And so 4 goes into 30 7 times. And 4 times 7 is 28. So you can subtract that, and you're going to end up with 2. And so now 4 can't go into 2, right? So you have to add another 0 and bring it down. So it makes 20. And now 4 can go into 20 5 times. So 3 over 4 as a decimal is 0 0.75. And so the next step to convert fractions to percents is once you get the decimal, you're going to make the decimal into a percent. Now how to convert decimals to percents is fairly simple. You, let's just take 70, or 0.75. So what you're going to do is you're going to move the decimal point two spaces to the right and then add a percent sign. So 0 0.75 is the same as 75%. And so that's how you do it. So we're just going to do a few examples just to solidify what we learned today. Examples. So number one we are given 2 over 5. So the first step is to convert the fraction into a decimal. So we're going to do long division. And 5 can't go into 2, right? So you add the decimal and bring it up and then add a 0. And so 5 now goes into 20 four times. 5 times 4 is 20. And so there's zero remaining, so it's just 0 0.4. And so now the second step is to convert the decimal to a percent. And how you do that is you just move the decimal two spaces to the right and add a percent sign. And so you end up getting 40. So this is the same thing as 2 over 5 equals 40%. Now the second example, we're given 12 over 25. So again, what we do is we convert the fraction to a decimal. And so 25 can't go into 12, so we add the decimal, bring it up, and then add a zero. And so now 25 goes into 120 four times. So 25 times four is 100. And then you subtract, and you get 20. But 25 can't go into 20, right? So we add another 0 and bring it down. And so now 25 goes into 200 eight times. And so the decimal is going to be 0 0.48. And then we convert the decimal to a percent, and it turns out to be 48%. And so in conclusion, 12 over 25 is equal to 48%. So the next example that we're given is 1 over 8. So we do the same thing, do long division to convert the fraction to a decimal. And then 8 can't go into 1, so you add the 0, I mean you add the decimal point and bring it up and then add a 0. And so 8 goes into 10 once, 
when you subtract, 10 minus 8 is 2, and 8 cannot go into 2, so you add the 0 and bring it down. So now 8 goes into 20 2 times. 8 times 2 is 16. You subtract that, end up with 4. And so now 8 can't go into 4, so add the 0, bring it down. 8 goes, goes into 45 times. And so this is going to be your decimal. And then you convert the decimal to a percent. You move the decimal point two spaces to the right. And so the decimal would be 12.5%. So 8 or 1 over 8 equals 12.5%. And finally, our last example, we're given 1 over 12. And so what we've been doing, you do long division. Here, I'll move that more down. Long division. And so 12 can't go into 1. So we add the decimal, bring it up, and then add an, a 0. But 12 can't go into 10, right? So we add the 0 and then add another zero. And so 12 goes into 100 eight times, and then 12 times eight is 96, and you subtract and get four. And now 12 can't go into four, so we add the zero and bring it down. And so 12 goes into 40 three times. That's 36, and then you subtract, and then you get four. And so this is gonna just keep repeating, so we could just stop there. And so the decimal is going to be approximately 0 0.083. And then we'd convert that into a decimal, I mean, sorry, into a percent. And so this becomes 8.3%. One over 12 equals 8.3%.